Hey guys, Jared Marine here with another video for you today, talking about uh, <clears throat> badges and and ribbons and kind of or medals and ribbons and kind of the difference, you know, between those. Um, every award you get, regardless of what it is, will have a ribbon component to component to it. Um, so no matter what, you'll get a ribbon. Um, you know, if you're awarded for something, you know, whatever it is, you'll get a ribbon. But then some of those awards do not have do not have uh, medals associated with them. Uh, like, for instance, in the main one is the Combat Action Ribbon. That is purely a ribbon and nothing else. They don't, uh, it doesn't have, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why they, why it's this way, you know, why everyone doesn't have a medal associated with it, but for whatever reason, they don't. Um, so that's why when you see guys wearing their dress uniforms and they have medals on one side and then some ribbons, you know, two, three, four, five, six ribbons on the other side, it's because the ones with the ribbons do not have medals. And when you wear uniforms, you're supposed to display all your awards. And, and so they... To do that, they end up having to put ribbons on there as well as well as medals. Uh, you're supposed to wear every award that you've been given. Sometimes guys don't. They uh, will refuse to wear some of their personal awards, unit awards, stuff like that. You have to wear. Like there's you just there's no arguing it. Some of the personal awards, though, while most guys don't refuse to wear them, I believe they technically can. So for instance, if you don't want to wear your Purple Heart, then I believe that is your right and you're allowed to not wear it. Um, I don't really know the full, you know, the full rules behind that, but I believe, you know, it's my understanding that that's the case. Um, getting it cold or something. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, and you guys will, I don't even know if you guys will earn the National Defense I believe you will if you join, you know, within the next year or so. I believe you get the the national defense, but uh, the I can't speak to the other stuff. Um, what was I going to say? The but you'll have your national defense. You know, after three years, if you don't get in trouble, you get what they call good conduct uh, medal, which basically means you went three years without fucking getting in trouble, like in you know, like a special person. Uh, the if you deploy overseas you get an overseas deployment ribbon uh, if you're stationed overseas like in Okinawa you will get there's another ribbon I can't remember what that one's called but there's another award for that for just being stationed you know overseas and I don't believe Hawaii counts as can overseas it might but I don't believe it is um, but I'm speaking you know from the Marine Corps like Okinawa and stuff um, what else uh, the what else would you get? During war, you really don't get a lot of awards. You know, if there's no if there's no combat going on. Um, but you know, if you do deploy and you go to and you end up fighting, you know, you can get your combat action. Hopefully not, not, but possibly a purple heart. Um, obviously, awards for valor. You know, bronze star, silver star, um, things like that. But it's all very, you guys will learn more about them and kind of what they mean and what you got to do to earn them as as you're in, as you're in the military. Uh, so, I mean, it just, you, you'll understand all that stuff as you go. But you'll have to make sure that this stuff is taken care of, you know, that your stuff looks good, that all your ribbons are properly placed, and there is proper placement. Some ribbons and awards are considered of higher value than others. So ensuring that you have, you know, personal awards and awards for valor, like, you know, your silver star, if you ever get one of those, is considered more important than your national defense ribbon. And so that will be higher up the food chain. And you'll, they'll teach you all this stuff and you'll understand it. Uh, but, but yeah, and if you end up getting a lot of medals, it's expensive to get them mounted. It's a term uh, that you use for for that which means that getting them properly placed 
is of the utmost importance. Uh, and it does cost a lot to get them done properly to make them look good. And the more metals you have, the more expensive it's going to be for you. Uh, whoa. So, yeah, there's really not a time I can say. You know, you guys will just have to see how it plays out for you when you when you get there and you're and you're understanding. And you actually have you have a few awards, you know, and you have to learn how to get them all set up on your uniforms. Um, I won't go into that time because your drill instructors will they'll cover that for you. So, yeah. All right, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up. And I will see you in the next one. Semper Pie.